I want to go over how to make a basic rib brimmed hat using the new X loom with four wedges so that you have a nice smooth crown and um, I'm going to give you the basic formula of how to figure out what amount of pegs and everything and I'm calculating this all off of worsted yarn and so I'm going to make an adult size hat since most people um, are going to be making it for themselves but um, you can also do this in um, a toddler sizing or um, a baby sizing in which I've kind of done a general overview um, so I'll give you the calculations that I did for the um, the toddler hat and the calculations I did for the adult so what you want to do is you want to know what your stitches per inch are and if you want to do a swatching and um, my suggestion is, is you base it off of the widest stretched stitch count and the reason being is um, when you measure your head circumference you're doing it on the widest part of the head and um, when you put on a hat it goes on at an angle so it's not really actually having to fit on the widest part of the head and if you do it on the stretched um, calculation it actually works up every time I've not noticed it not working up every time so for me with a 3 8 inch gauge and a worsted yarn I get four stitches per inch then my head circumference is 21.75 now if you're wanting to do the toddler sizing you'll have the option of 19.5 or 18.5 for a toddler sizing and it fits on um, a 24 month old and a five year old so if, in this sizing you can actually get a pretty heavy range of what will fit um, you may want to try the 70 um, two, but what you want to do is you want to stick in, in divisibilities of four as best you can because you're going to be decreasing by four as you can see on the loom All right so what you want to do is if you're doing the 80 peg you want to divide that by 2 and you get 40 okay and what that means is you're going to do 40 rows of stockinette after you do your rib stitch now 40 divided by 5 is 8 round up to 10 you're going to do 10 rows of rib stitch for your base then 40 rows of stockinette and then you will do the process of knit a row then you'll do a decrease row and I'll explain what that is okay and you do that until you get down to 24 no matter what size you're getting down to the smallest amount of pegs on this loom okay so and if you want a fold up brim you double your rib stitch rows okay and now if you're going to do the adult size which I am I'm going to do the 88 peg and my head circumference was 21.75 and of course with four stitches per inch that's 87 you round up to 88 and I've already preset the loom to 88 I'm going to end up doing 44 rows of stockinette and 10 let's see I would do 10 rows of rib stitch but I'm going to do 20 because I want the brim to fold up okay so these are your options on either one you can do 10 to 15 on the toddler size I would suggest 10 if you don't want to fold up brim double it if you want to fold up brim I'm going to do a fold up brim so I'm going to do 20 rows of a rib stitch on here okay so that gives you a basic calculation and it shows up in the PDF that way now what we want to do is we'll get us started so what you want to do is you want to do an e-wrap cast on which is not difficult and I'll explain how to set it up you can either do a double wrap cast on or you can do a um, e-wrap cast on okay so your anchor peg is actually going to be in the middle and here's what you want to do if you want to do the double wrap wrap it so you wrap it and then toss it okay you can do that option 
or you can just e-wrap all the way around. The, the more pegs there are, the easier it's just going to be to double wrap it and toss. Double wrap, toss, double wrap, toss. And you're going to look at this more like it's a, um, a round loom, even though you're working on an X. You're going to work all the way around here, through here, through here, through here, through here, and back. And that counts as your cast on. Okay? So, go ahead and cast yourself all 88 pegs or 80 depending and um, we can work ourselves from there. Okay, we've done our cast on and you can see the method in which we started working. Alright, and now we're ready to start our first 20 rows, which is going to be a rib stitch. And because we're basing this off of four, you know that you can do a two by two rib stitch. If you would like, you can do a four by four. If you want a wider set rib stitch, you can do where you knit four, purl four. It's entirely up to you. Um, but I would suggest doing a knit two, purl two. And if you want it to be knits on the wedges rather than purls to make it a little easier on you, your first stitch, your first two stitches, you should start off with two purls. Purl, purl if you want your wedges to be knit. Okay. So, knit, knit, purl, purl. And you just go the same direction that you went to do your, um, your cast on. Knit, knit, Pearl. Pearl. And then you have your knit knit, which makes it a little easier if you have knits on your wedges. Um, at some point I will show how to do an entire rib stitch hat where your ribbing goes into a nice beautiful knit in your decrease so it kind of bleeds into those wedge decreases all right so go ahead and pause the video and get your 20 rows done of rib stitch okay and we will progress on from there, okay? So pause the video, get your rib stitching done for 20 rows, and I'll come back and show you the stockinette stitch, and then we'll get to the um, interesting part, which is the decreasing, which makes it all the worth the while, okay? So pause the video, get that much done, and we'll go from there. You know, yes, it looks like I've mostly finished the hat. It's okay. Um, here's your 20 rows of rib stitch, as you can see. And after this, you want to do um, just straight up stockinette stitch, okay? And you want to do 44 rows. And so I will show you that, and then we'll be moving to the more complicated part of the pattern, okay? So now you just want to go in and just knit everything round and round for a total of 44 rows, and then we will be moving on to 
decreasing the crown. And I'll tell you how that works. All right. So, you're going to go around and around for 44 rows. So, pause the video, get your 44 rows done, and then we'll be ready to do the crown area, which is the more difficult part. It's really not that difficult, but it's it requires more steps than just the base of casting on rib stitch 44 rows. So go ahead, pause the video, get your 44 rows done in stockinette. We'll come back and I'll show you how to start doing the crown. Okay, we've done our 44 rows and now we are ready to decrease and start decreasing from our 88 packs to 24 packs. And here's how it works no matter what size hat you're doing. It doesn't matter what size. You're going to decrease and what that means is you're going to unscrew the washer, as you can see, just enough to push it in to the next slot. You see how it's in one to the next aligning pegs, and you tighten your washer back up. Move it in, tighten your washer up. Move it in, tighten your washer up. and move it in and tighten your washer up and you shouldn't have to unscrew it very much at all now here is the next thing you do and you do it all the way around now you can do it here but then you don't have a beautiful line that shows up so personally I would say put these stitches decrease them to the actual wedge see which is what I explained. So you decrease your stitches to the wedge pegs, okay, just like this. And to slow by that, I usually yank on the thing a little bit to push that down. And you're going to go in, you're going to do this all the way around. And this makes it easy to wear. All you had to do is knit, and then you knit those two over on the wedges, okay. And you do this with every single, um, no matter what size hat you're doing, you do this. You do this process. All right. Okay, so we've decreased them all, and it looks normal again. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to knit around, which is this is our decrease row. Okay. And then we're going to knit around a regular row. Now, it will increase the length of the hat if you choose to do two knit rows and one decrease row. It will extend the hat, but you'll want to, the closer you get to the crown, the closer you'll want your decreases to be. So you can do decrease a row and knit two rows for like half of it and then do um, the other half where you... And then you're going to knit both those over. Oops. Okay. Um, but there's a lot more options on how you can decrease this section. But um, I find that... you you do this knit or you decrease a row and knit a row you do really well with it it does fine and let's say you wanted to make like an L pad or something you would do probably like decrease and then knit five rows decrease and then knit five rows and that will actually give you a nice point so depending on how you do the rows and decreasing you can get a different look and effect on a hat
Okay, we've made our first round. And I'm going to put a show my stitches down and then I'm going to do a round of knit. Okay, where I just go around and do a complete round of, of knit. And I'll show you the decrease again one more time. And then I'll tell you to go in and keep repeating these steps where you decrease a row and then you knit a row. Alright, so I'm going to show you the one full complete step and then I'm going to show you how to decrease one more time so that you're good to go. Okay, so now we are ready to decrease again. So we've done our first set of decrease a row and knit a row, which is our repeat. And I'm going to show you how to go in and decrease one more time. Release the washer enough, tighten the washer to the next section. Release, tighten. Release, tighten, release, and tighten. Take your stitches, decrease them to the wedge pegs, and you can pull on it to make sure that solidifies that. And decrease. And decrease. decrease. Now you're going to knit your way around and getting those decreased areas and then you're going to knit away around again and you're going to continue this down to 24 pegs. Just go ahead, pause the video, get your decreasing down and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to finish up the hat. But again, this is, um, I think y'all are going to really like how this goes in and decreases down to a nice point. Let's go ahead and pause the video, get that much done. We'll come back. I'll show you how to finish up the last 24 to draw, drawstring it off. And then um, we're almost done. Okay. I have worked down to 24 pegs. And you may find that it gets a little, um, the wedges tend to want to probably move a little bit more when you get down to 24. But you're never here for that long. So what we want to do is I want to do what I call a prep decrease before I actually draw a string off and what that means is you go in and you knit pegs one and two move that second stitch back to peg one toss the bottom loop over and then move that stitch over one and you move to the next two pegs Move that back one, toss the bottom loop over, move it over one. This will get you down from 24 pegs to 12 pegs. Now we want to go in and draw a string off and you should have 12 stitches left. Go ahead and cut you a tail. And what I like to do is knit it over, pull it through. Knit it 
over. Pull the tail through. Knit over. Pull the tail through. Knit over. Pull the tail through. Knit over. And do this all the way around. Here's your last one. Toss over. Pull through. And there is your smooth top. And you'll send that through and tie it off. And that is how you make a rib brim hat on the X loom with a smooth crown. And you're done.